Hi guys, I'm back with a small test of Star Wars The Old Republic on the Microsoft Surface Pro. I've started the game, or I started the video with the game open because it's load time from a character sheet to, uh, to actual play time is a bit long, so I would spare you for that. I should say it took about well, two to three minutes, and and that's long when you're just waiting. So I'll just jump right to it. I'm at, I'm at the moment in an instant sort of Star Wars throughout the game. Throughout the game is mostly when you're doing quest in some sort of instance and of course that helps the game uh, game's frame rate as you can see in the upper left corner uh, I'm running fraps to show you that the game is about 60 frames per second we can see if that fits yeah that's about right just check what the game's own uh, frame per second menu I'll fight my way through here and show you how the game reacts in what can I say outdoor because this is sort of like an indoor space I will not be able to meet other people in here, so it doesn't have to load other than me and the local NPCs. And that's why I'm running outside, where I can run into other gamers as well. I am running the game on graphic settings very low, because the game is very high demanding in power, and as you probably know or have seen in my other films uh, the Microsoft Surface Pro isn't a gaming device but it does it pretty well Now I'll be going outside and we'll see if the frame rate stays at 60 or if it goes down. At the moment it's still on 60. Let's try to go into a fight. Yeah, it fell to about 50, between 40 and 50. But that's actually pretty good and is really playable. Of course the game is not as pretty, so to speak, on the Surface Pro because if we are running everything on very low. But as I've said before, you are not playing on the Microsoft Surface Pro uh, just to play a game. Uh, you're not buying a game and, and thinking that you will be running it on the Surface Pro. You're only running games on the Surface Pro if you're at a friend's house or your other PC is broken down or something. Then you will have the opportunity to play on the Surface Pro and that's really what I'm testing for games. We are now at between 20 and 30 frames per second, 25. The game loads a lot of more t tearing and, and monsters out here 
That's why we get the frame rate drops. You should be able to go to do groove stuff because most of the time you will be going into some sort of instance and then it will only load the, the other players and the mobs and creatures and NPCs inside the instance. That shouldn't be a problem. I think the, the only place it would be a big problem if it's you go uh, PvP for example because it has to load a lot of players. Try and do this. I can't really remember where I can go back to my ship. I think it's this one. Oops, not there. There should be a shuttle here somewhere. The frame rate is now about 30. I'll go back to my ship here. First, when I tried to run the Star Wars The Old Republic, I was running it from an external hard drive and, and a regular with a rotating disk. And I found that when I was using um, a USB hub in form of my um, squid uh, hub, that's just where it turns one USB port into four. It seems like that the hard drive didn't get enough uh, power to open the game. Um, but now I'm running it from an external SSD drive and it loads a lot faster. Now I'm at my ship and as you can see the frame rate is back to 60 because now it has only has to load the inside of my ship and my companions. I can show you a conversation mode because Jason wants to talk to me. Master, everything else aside, the visceral experience of facing Lord Sendens continues to tantalize me. I relive it nightly in a waking buzzing. When I feel such pleasure, all I can think of is sharing it with you. When I feel pain, I ache to be consoled by you. I know what this is. It's love. Actions speak louder than words, Jason. Believe me, I ache to show you how deep my love runs. But I want this to be different, special. As you already know, my reflex is to rush to instant gratification. This is actually pretty funny it's because it turns out it's that wrong. if you play your cards right, Jason will become in love with you. And I think that's funny to, to play on that she actually is in love with my character. They have actually had sex once. Well, I didn't see anything, <laughs> luckily. But it's kind of funny. Well, I actually don't have any more to say about the Star Wars The Old Republic. It is playable on the device, but I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it as the, the main computer that you will play Star Wars on. Well, remember to subscribe and I'll catch you later in another game. Bye!